Now, you know that Jewish quantities are a bisala, this, and a telenor, that, and a shisala of the other. Well, he sold all the containers for those measurements. <laughs> and he, they were made out of enamel, mostly. So yellow or white enamel, yellow with a green edging, white with a blue edging. One was milchic and one was flushing, probably. And I remember one particular occasion when I went in there and I think my mother wanted to buy a kettle. And she said to him, you know, a Jewish person wants to know if it's the best. <laughs> and she said to him, is it a good kettle? The scrapester, he says, it's a good kettle. It's a judge. <laughs> I said, what did he mean? It's a judge. I imagine. What is a judge? This was a make of the kettle. And it still exists today. And if you go into John Lewis, you might even find a judge, although if you ask the shop attendant, he won't actually explain it in that way. <laughs> so I'm going to sing you a song about food. And it uses all of these terms, a shisala, a bisala, a teleral. But this song was written quite recently in Eastern Europe. It was written in Moldova. So it would seem we brought it all the way here, but in Eastern Europe, where there has been a revival in Yiddish, um, those measurements still exist. So, uh, hold on, yeah. I'm going to have a little drop of water. Bye. 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 